Hi guys, this is Sharon with Crafty Acres and I was able to get into here into the garden. It's dried up a bit from all the rains. As you can see, it looks pretty good in here. It's not too muddy. We went ahead and used our rototiller on the back of the the tractor, the bucket tractor, and it's a eight foot rototiller that we used. Here, I'll go over and show it to you. The old international bucket tractor that we have, and we have a eight foot rototiller on the back end, and it makes a wide strip. Trust me, when you have this big of a garden, this is really nice. We used to do this with a little walk behind rototiller and this is much better. This has a 3.0 hookup and it's hydraulic lift. But this is what we used and then during the rest of the year we'll use a rototiller to go between the, a walk behind to go between the rows. But I got three fourths of this field done the second time around. And we're just going to go over it um, as I get things planted and use up sections of the garden. We're just going to kind of go around and t go around and use up the garden as we get it done. And as you can see, it's drying pretty good. And then back there in that wider spot back there. We didn't uh, rototill it up because that's where we have our sweet corn and it's coming up in a fairly decent um, stand. It's not the best. I've got some seeds that I'm going to soak and what we're going to do is just put them on paper towels, wet the paper towel, put it in a uh, sack and put it outside like in a uh, Ziploc bag. Send it outside, let this warm sun germinate it. Once it's germinated, I can pop them in the in the rows real quick. And since they're only about this tall, they're about an inch tall, they should be able to catch up with them. And that's what I'm gonna do. So guys, this is my garden, the start of my garden, and let's see how much I can get done today. Hi everyone. Now we're back and this is a few days later. We were able to get 75 tomato plants put in that one day when we had the tractor here with the rototiller. And since then, we've probably put in another 20, 25 more tomato plants. And I like to use these cages. This is how we do it. Um, this is woven wire fencing, and we just cut it down, make it into a circle, and these are great cages. They don't fall over. You don't have to worry about it. Every once in a while, you just have to fluff the plant through it as they grow, and they're done. Free maintenance free. And how we keep the weeds out of it, I'll show you in a future video, but we put a cardboard down there. It works perfect. But we've got probably about 10, maybe 15 different varieties from big slicers to some Roma type, the pasta, so, pasta ones. Oops. I've got my dog here helping us. His name's Harley. Don't step on the plant. Harley, don't step on the plant. Come over here. Now we've got watermelons and cantaloupe down this way. I'm calling this our watermelon cantaloupe alley. We've got Blacktop Mountain and, or Blacktail Mountain and Super Sweet. And then we've got Rocky, Rocky Top Cantaloupe. Now this is our Ambrosia Sweet Corn that I had done a video of and where I cracked some of the ground. I do need to weed this out. And that'll be real quick with the rototiller right down the rows, between the rows. And it came up better over there. It didn't come up real good. But what we did was Harley move. Sit. Good boy. We ended up planting watermelon wherever it was sparse. 
and it can and that way we're utilizing the ground that's not got some sweet corn in it and then I ended up putting eight more rows of sweet corn down over here uh, but it's only been in the ground for about a week so it's just starting to come up and that's pretty much it for this garden okay so now we're in the little garden and this is where we have our cherry tomatoes we have everything from sun sugars down to we have different varieties about 25 different cherry tomatoes and that may seem like a lot but when you're doing a market far farmers market they like a variety and so we'll sell sun sugars which is a little yellow tomato we have a bumblebee sunrise that is a yellow to red and then it's we've got indigo drop cherry which is a purple with a red bottom a chocolate cherry and then some red cherries and we're actually experimenting with a couple of different varieties of red cherries to see which ones we're wanting a lot of times we get so much rain dumped on us at once that it tends to crack the skin so we're still trying to find a good cherry that's going to be crack resistant and so guys i thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and we'll go over the rest of the varieties that we have out in the garden in another video but for right now drop any comments down in the comment section that you have like and subscribe See you guys next time.